what is up? So today we are gonna be talking about why everything that you have tried doesn't stick for you. You've tried it all, you've tried one, you've tried the other, you have tried a thousand different ways to try to lose your muffin top, try to find your energy, to try to feel like your old self, and nothing ever sticks and we're gonna be talking about why that is today. In order to do that, I have a curtain. You're probably like, why are you holding a curtain? It's not a shower curtain, it's a regular curtain. I have a curtain, I have an ice cream sundae, and I have a pizza that I'm gonna be using to show you guys why nothing seems to stick for you. Before we actually get into that, I was having a little debate with myself about pizza versus ice cream sundae. So two of my absolute favorite foods in the entire world. If you guys don't know, ice cream is my kryptonite. And so my question for you before we get into this is which would you rather have? If they were both in front of you right now, a pizza and an ice cream sundae, and you could only have one, which would you choose? This is a really, really, really hard question. I know none of y'all would choose the curtain. So, so pizza versus ice cream sundae, you can only have one. I know you're like me. You're like, well, I kind of want both. Um, but you can only have one. Which one do you choose? Go ahead and drop it in the comments for me right now. And then let's go ahead and get into what we're actually going to talk about today, which is why you have tried every diet under the sun and nothing works. So I want you guys to think about how your body actually works. And so I know that this is like my job, not yours, but really if you think about, think about what controls every single thing in your body. It's your brain, right? It's your brain. And so your brain is in charge. And so if you're thinking about this, you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to change your body, you're trying to get energy, you're trying to get rid of brain fog, right? You're trying to do all of these things. And oftentimes we do them with diets. We go keto, we cut carbs, or we're going running. We're doing all of these things that besides not being sustainable, they kind of make us a little bit miserable as well. And so let's talk about why they don't work. And the reason that, you know, your macros or your coach or your this or your that, or they worked, but then you gain the weight back, which is like ugh, the most frustrating thing ever, right? The most frustrating thing ever. It's like, why are they not working? I don't get it, Jess. Well, think about what's actually in charge. Your brain is in charge. And so really, if you think about the piece that's missing, the missing link, the reason that what we do is so successful for years after our clients finish with us is because we help them change their mindset. Yes, we're addressing stress. We're helping them with their hormones. We're helping them lose weight. We're helping them build muscle. We are doing all of those things. But the thing that makes it a game changer, that makes it permanent, that makes it last forever is the fact that we help them change their mindset. We help them forget about restriction. We help them forget about willpower. We help them change their mindset around what it means to actually take care of your body. It's all about self-care versus restriction and willpower. It's about doing things that lift you up, that make you feel good, that feel strong, that feel empowering. Because why? Because that is how the magic happens. And so like, imagine, imagine this guys. So we're going to get into the food. If you haven't told me yet, which you would choose, you have an ice cream sundae and pizza in front of you. You could only have one, which do you choose? Are you sweet or are you salty? Okay, are you sweeter or are you salty? For me, it would really actually depend on the day. But if we're gonna get into it, drop yours in the comments if you haven't yet. So here's what I mean. Your brain is what's in charge. All of these diets, all of these programs, all of these crazy things that we women try, myself included, right? none of them actually address the mindset and focusing on your actual wellness and your whole body as a function. And so it's like, this is a pizza without crust. Do you wanna eat that? Yeah? Yeah, it doesn't look all that delicious, does it? Pizza is nothing without the crust. It needs a foundation. I didn't expect this to stick to the plate like this, but um, it needs a foundation. The foundation is the mindset work, guys. It is the stress relief. It is taking care of yourself. It is the way that you talk to yourself, right? And this can be changed just like you can change your bicep if you do bicep curls every day, right? Or if you do hip thrusts every day, you can build your booty, right? It's like it can be changed, but it takes practice and it takes 
exercise, just like changing your body, you can change your brain with exercise, but you've got to be doing the right kinds of exercises, not just for your body, but also for your brain. And when you do those over time, you essentially are putting down the crust to your pizza, right? Or we have a beautiful, ooh, whoops, that one's not quite as uh, firm as the other one. This beautiful ice cream sundae. But like, it's not an ice cream sundae. It's stuff in a bowl. Like, I don't wanna eat this without the ice cream underneath. Like, do you wanna eat, sorry, <laughs> do you wanna eat this, right? Now I definitely don't wanna eat it because it's made a mess. But like, if you think about it, it's got the cherry, the bananas, the nuts, the Cool Whip, it's got all the things, but it's missing its foundation. And the foundation makes the sundae. The ice cream makes the sundae. The crust is necessary to have a pizza. Like you need those things. And so if you think about it, if you're dieting and dieting and dieting and dieting, besides screwing up your hormones and your metabolism, that's a video for another day. It's not addressing the thing that's actually in charge, the foundation, which is your actual brain, right? And so like, that's really like the crux of the issue. And the reason I have a curtain, which I think I, you guys get the point. I don't know if I need the curtain, but it's like me trying to put up curtains when I don't even have a house. Like the house isn't even built. The foundation is down. There's no walls. There's no drywall. There's no paint. And I'm like, I'm going to go put up curtains. Well, like, no, like it doesn't make sense. You need a foundation first, right? Just like you need crust for a pizza and you need ice cream to make an ice cream sundae. You need to work on the foundation. And so if you have dieted and dieted and dieted and dieted, again, besides kind of screwing up your body, right? Think about all those failures, all those things, what they're doing to your mindset, what they're doing to your belief in yourself, right? Think about the way that you talk to yourself every day. Think about all of these things and the way that you're, they're impacting your ability to show up in your life and actually accomplish your goal. It's no wonder that you're not able to be successful. Like really, it's no wonder your brain is in charge and we're not working on it, we're not addressing it, we're not thinking about it, and if you've been failing and failing and failing, chances are is that we're feeding it things that it doesn't even like or that it doesn't even want. We're feeding it things like we're never gonna be successful, I don't deserve this, I'm just gonna give up on myself, I'm gonna accept this the way that it is, right? And every day you wake up and look in the mirror, or maybe you avoid looking in the mirror. What is that saying to our brain? What is that saying to our foundation? because your brain is in charge of your body. If you wanna change your body, you gotta change up here because otherwise you're gonna keep dieting and keep dieting and keep dieting and keep wondering why nothing sticks. We've gotta take care of this too. It's so, so, so important guys. So just like you wouldn't eat this pizza without a crust and you wouldn't eat this sundae without ice cream, don't go on another diet or join another program that doesn't address you as a whole entire woman with emotions and needs and desires and stress and all these different things. So if you would need a pizza without crust, if you would need a sundae without ice cream, don't go on a diet that doesn't address your whole body inside and out. That's all I've got for you guys today. Uh, if you haven't told me yet, whether you're sweet or salty, pizza or ice cream, make sure you drop it in the comments before you leave today. That's all I got for you guys. I hope you have an awesome, awesome, awesome rest of your day.